Horsepower. How much horsepower can you have for a home-built boat? Okay, so the US Coast Guard has a formula that you can use. It's pretty simple, and they also have a chart, but the chart's a little confusing. The formula is length of the boat times the width of the transom times 0.5, you know, you're basically dividing it by two, uh, minus 15 for flat bottom boats like this John boat. And for everything else, whether it be a V bottom or a multi-chine bottom or a round bottom, what you get is the length of the boat times the width of the boat divided by 0.8 minus 25. So let's take the current boat we're building. We're building a 16, or at least we were building a 1642 John boat. Now we gotta be, the measurements are taken from the longest points on the boat. So the transom, typically the way John boats are measured, when you buy a John boat that says it's a 1436, they're just measuring the bottom of the transom, the smallest part of the transom. The Coast Guard is measuring from the widest point on the transom, no matter how, you might have a 36 inch bottom on your transom, but because the sides flare out, the transom may be actually something like five feet wide. Well, they're calculating it as a five foot transom. That's how the Coast Guard does it. So they're giving you the benefit of the doubt there. 1642, well, 42 inches is just three and a half feet. By the time you add the flare in it, it ends up being a four foot wide transom. So you take a 16 foot long boat, multiply it times four feet wide at the transom, the widest point on the transom, divide it by two or multiply it times 0.5. You take the sum of that, minus 15, and you're gonna get 16 and a half horsepower basically 17 horses. That's not too bad. It's not too bad for a long, narrow boat of about that length. That's for flat bottom boats only. Now, if any, anything else, V-bottom boats, multi-chine boats, what you need to do is the length of the boat, the width of the boat times 0.8 minus 25. I'll put the formula down in the description and that should give you, that basically give us 25.4 horse. I would recommend rounding down. Like I'm always gonna error on on rounding down than rounding up. Oh, I can have 17 horsepower because you rounded it up. Well, if the Coast Guard pulls you over and they do the math themselves, what do you think they're gonna say? It's not about what you can get away with, it's about how conservatively safety-minded you are. And so I've just, as to tell you something, I've decided to change the dimensions of my boat. I'm changing it to a 1636 which means the bottom of the boat will be 36 inches wide instead of 40. The top of the boat's gonna be 43 and a half feet wide instead of four feet wide, basically. So you say, well, that's a reduction in horsepower, right? Yeah, but if you do the math, that's still 13 horsepower, which is perfect for your single cylinder um, big block engines. But here's why I'm thinking about making that change. I've done a stage one, if you remember, we've done a stage one increase uh, on this engine, it's running a lot more efficient now. We're getting a lot more air and fuel inside the engine because of the intake and the exhaust. We have a slightly richer running engine, so a cooler running engine. We have a bigger propeller. A bigger propeller is more efficient than a smaller propeller. We have that bayou bushing, which is far more self-lubricating and less energy is being wasted by the in the loose end play that you saw in that wooden bushing. All that together is, the, the engine now feels like an eight horsepower engine. I went out Saturday, I even got into some weeds and stuff. And so I'm thinking, you know, if we just narrow the boat down about six inches wide, keep it the same length, we could still use this motor, save a lot of money, and quite frankly, buy some better lenses for the camera, buy me another, maybe a stereo microphone for the camera as well. Put that money, a lot of you interested in the reels. Remember the reels I was talking about? You might be interested in, I can take that money and import those reels for you guys or whatever, or, or something, uh, you know. So while I can still use a big block, I can stick with the single cylinder engine, save fuel, save easier for me to work on, upgrade when I'm ready to upgrade instead of just trying to force it. It'd probably be just doable to use this little eight horsepower engine, essentially with a um, 30, just a 36 inch wide, 16 foot long boat. That's really all I care about is getting where I wanna go in my fishing. That my friends is how you calculate the amount of horsepower and how you can change the dimensions of the boat to fit your needs. 
Maybe you already have one of these motors. You don't want to invest in a bigger motor. Well, you can do a couple of upgrades to it because these motors are just power generator motors. And so it's acceptable to do some level of modification to it to better suit your needs. The engine really feels to come alive. I'm actually impressed with this thing. I've loved these Champion engines and gosh, I wish we could get a sponsorship deal going with Champion because I love these motors. And um, I'll talk to you later. If you like these videos, consider supporting me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Also consider the Thai Longtail Boat Building class on Teachable.